and welcome to Club 5 episode 3 of The Pilgrimage on FM24. I'm Jamie, coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you. We'll be away to Blackburn Rovers in the Championship, I'll then play Woking off camera in the FA Cup and I'll bring you back for the home Championship match against Sunderland and since you were last with me as you can see we've largely been in really really good form um, the only exception to that being uh, the very last game where we surprisingly lost 2-1 at home to a Plymouth Argyle so uh, let's see if we can uh, immediately put that right and the team to face uh, Blackburn Rovers is coming up in just a moment Okay, here is the uh, team then for that uh, match away to Blackburn Rovers, and it is Jose Sa in goal, back four of eight Nori, Darling, Mosquera, and Teze. Midfield four is Simicas, Harrison, Gore, and Guedes, and it's Kaladzic and Silva up front. So let's submit the team. Go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant uh, wants to be impressed and wants the team to go out and put on a show. Um, yeah, I think that's right. So I'm going to pump the fists and go with that. And let's get out there and uh, see if we can uh, manage to put right what went wrong against uh, Plymouth Argyle. Let's get the league table back up. And... Uh, it is a Wolves highlight first of all, it's Simicas with the left footed in swinging corner, headed away, Kalajic gets there, Simicas to Kalajic and Sasha Kalajic gives us the lead on four minutes and it is Blackburn Rovers nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers one and we're on the attack again, Gwade is into Gore who's gone for it and he's clipped the crossbar so close to a second goal in the opening six minutes and uh, now it's down at the other end Blackburn can have a chance to uh, attack and they've worked it well Smodic back to Hyam Davis to Santos square ball to Kral and uh, Jose Saar makes a, a good save but it will be a Blackburn corner Davis with the left footed in swinger and Saar grabs it so 10 minutes gone we lead 1-0 and uh, at the moment it's a pretty even game but uh, we are very slightly ahead statistically but Davis with a Blackburn corner headed away but Marshall Rutty squares it to Sigurdsson and he shoots wide so we've got away with one there and let's demand more we need to uh, get back on track we're now behind statistically apart from where it matters um, Simicas gets to the byline whips in across Guedes doesn't get there Sigurdsson to Davis who is able to find Hyam into Smodic finds Kral in midfield he's given it away so eight Nori can bring it forward for Wolves Guedes goes past his man and pulls it back for Fabio Silva to make it 2-0 and uh, we are uh, carving them apart at the moment when we go forward so that should mean in fact no it won't mean that we go up a position because we're already ahead statistically and now it's 2-1 Smodic with the goal so let's demand more uh, Foster with the throw in to Kral Foster to uh, Manani back to Valstedt finds Hyam and Blackburn are on the attack again Smodic to crawl and he's in here but uh, the shot is off target and the highlight comes to an end so as it stands we're four points off the top of the table and now we're on the attack again Teze into Silva back to Gore Harrison to Gore Teze in space can he get the cross in yes he can and Fabio Silva makes it 3-1 
and it counts. So we're going to go in at half time with a 3 1 lead. Eight Nori with the throw into Harrison. Eight Nori into Simicas. And we've got a penalty. It might even be 4 1 at half time. Silva scores from the spot. It is 4 1. And that should wrap up the win. So there is the halftime whistle. Blackburn Rovers 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 4. So let's go into the dressing room, um, outstretch the arms and agree with my assistant. Now, the only reason I'd make a sub at halftime is for fitness and we really don't need to. So let's not start the second half and I'm going to leave the uh, controls alone. I'm not going to do anything until I need to. Eight Nori to Simicas. Gives the ball away though. Foster for Blackburn. Back to Moname. Um, Kral to Monane. Um, Valstedt. Puts his defender under pressure, but he deals with it and finds Hyam. Schmodic to Kral to Foster on the right-hand side. Comes over the halfway line and finds... Uh, I'm not even sure who it was, but we've cleared it anyway. Um, Kladic to Simikas over the halfway line and finds Kladic. Plays it back to eight Nori and the highlight comes to an end. So uh, 55 minutes gone, still 4-1. Um, ball into the box, cleared as far as Monane. Sigurdsson and Harrison deflects it behind for a corner. So it'll be a right-footed in-swinging corner. And Daniel Gore needs to come off. So that will be my first change. Um, Daniel Gore then for um, João Gomez. So I'm not going to make any changes today that I don't need to. Um, we're on the attack again. Guedes is ball in, headed away. Teze gets there, finds Guedes, who's given the ball away. It's cleared, but Gomez will collect it and plays it to Teze. Back to Mosquera. Gomez, Mosquera into Guedes, who lets it run and it's given away. Mope to Roberts. Burge dispossessed, but it falls to Kral. And Neil Mopai has put the ball in the back of the net and it is 4-2. So a lot less comfortable than it was. Uh, demanding more then. Um, Teze and Simicast both need to come off. So those will be my next two changes. Teze for Santos. Simicast for uh, Webster. And we'll confirm those. As we're doing that, Mosquera has given us a three goal lead back. It is Blackburn Rovers two, Wolves five. So yes, we'll confirm those changes. And uh, in the final few minutes, we'll make the last two. So eight Nori needs to come off. We'll bring on Tanganga at left back. And Silva needs to come off. So we'll bring on He Chan up front. And confirm both of those. As Davis plays it back to Hyam, finds Santos. Kral to Burge. Santos to Foster. Back to Aitchison. Finds Foster again into Santos. To Kral in midfield. Finds Mopai. Out to uh, Roberts on the right-hand side. Pulls it back to Sander Burge. His cross is headed off the crossbar and over the top. 
So into the final few minutes. We're on the attack again. Thiago Santos to Guedes. Santos gives the ball straight to Mopai. So Blackburn can counter. Mopai back to Foster, who plays it forward to Burge. Foster again. Plays it back to Valshet. His ball finds Hyam. Into Davis, finds Krull. Grant is dispossessed. Guedes plays it back to Mosquera. Santos to Guedes. Back to Santos. Into Gomez. Santos to Mosquera. We're keeping the ball really nicely. He Chan to Mosquera. Forward to Guedes. On to He Chan. Who squares it for Kalajic. And Sasa Kalajic has another goal. And it is uh, Blackburn Rovers 2, Wolves 6. We've got five minutes left. And we're absolutely on fire today. Into stoppage time. There's seven added minutes. There's absolutely no danger of anything going wrong now. We're out of subs though. Um, and that's a really poor goal kick. Guedes uh, picks up the loose ball and we've got another penalty. So surely it's going to be Kladic. But it isn't. It's Guedes. And he misses. Valstedt with the save. Now it's down at the other end. If they score, it'll only be a consolation. It's Roberts with the uh, left-footed in swinging corner and it's headed away as far as Mopai to Roberts who surely was offside there he's hit the uh, in fact he's hit Santos on the line and the highlight will come to an end and that is full time Blackburn Rovers 2 Wolverhampton Wanderers 6 and I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode Okay, so as you can see, following the 6-2 uh, win over Blackburn Rovers in uh, the first match of today's episode, we beat uh, Woking 4-2 away from home in the FA Cup. And it's now time to uh, face Sunderland in the Championship. And uh, I've already selected the team for this one. And here it is. It's Jose Sa in goal. Back four of Simicast, Darling, Mosquera and Teze. Midfield four is Guedes, Gomez... Wharton and Santos and it's Kalajic and Silva up front so let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay my assistant manager thinks if you carry your last performance into this match we'll do well. Given that we conceded two goals to a non-league side I'm not going to agree with him. Um, what I am going to do is say fans expect to win don't let them down so let's pump the fists and go with that and let's get out there and do it so uh, that's, uh, as always the first 10 minutes we'll see what happens and then beyond that we'll react as we need to first highlight is a Sunderland highlight we do get the ball away but not convincingly and Sunderland have got it back into the area um, Cherkin back to Thomas they're still in possession we can't get this away at the moment and they've scored Jens Petter Hauger has given Sunderland an early lead so let's go attacking demand more and now it's a Sunderland free kick on five minutes Hauger Again, the uh, architect and Jose Sarr is forced to put it behind for a corner. So at the moment, things not going according to plan. Um, Sarr does make the save this time though. And we can hopefully launch a uh, quick counter-attack. Bowls it to Darling who finds Simicas into Guedes. Back to Darling. Gomez to Wharton who's given the ball away but fortunately gets it back Silva tries to find Santos and can't uh, Hauger plays it forward to Veltz and we've won it back 
Santos down the right hand side crosses it in and the header from Kalajic has given us a sixth minute equaliser it is Wolverhampton Wanderers 1 Sunderland 1 so let's now encourage them as uh, Sunderland come forward again Fuller back to Cherkin though Thomas into Barr Barr's ball forward is cleared Wharton to Gomez finds Teze plays it into Wharton finds Santos Silva back to Teze into Wharton ball to Gomez who shoots and Shao Gomez has completed the turnaround inside the first 10 minutes it is Wolverhampton Wanderers 2 Sunderland 1 and uh, the league tables disappeared again so let's get it back and that should lift us I think to 56 points it hasn't as the corner is cleared but only as far as Halger and that's deflected but Saar is able to make the save so corner to Sunderland on uh, 18 minutes um, Cherkin with the left footed in swinging corner headed away um, and it's cleared eventually by Teze after a series of deflections and uh, confirmation that we are on 54 points not 56 so uh, we're not going to go into the automatic promotion places we are going to remain in the playoffs as things stand Guedes gives the ball away Velez to uh, Burnett and that was a foul but uh, the advantage was played and the shot goes wide and uh, as it stands Sunderland drop one place in the table replaced in seventh by Ipswich um, we stay exactly where we were now it's uh, Simicassi's corner and somehow we haven't scored two massive chances there not taken but, uh, Teze to Santos back to Teze finds Wharton um, who's turned and shoots and it's off target so uh, still 2-1 into the uh, final 10 minutes or so of the uh, sorry 5 minutes or so of the first half uh, Pembele to Bennett Ballard back to Bazunu Bazunu to Cherkin who comes away with it finds Thomas to Halga who's been uh, a thorn in our side today Mosquera picks it up though plays it to Darling and we'll go the other way this time in fact we go straight down the middle to Gomez back to Darling who uh, plays it to Wharton out to the right for Santos back to Teze infield is Wharton forward is Silva who drifts out to the right takes on his man pulls it back to Wharton on to Gomez and he shoots wide big chance not taken and uh, we're going to need some words at half time but not too strong because we are winning and we're not playing badly um, we're slightly fortunate to be ahead but um, we can definitely find another gear that's exactly fair um, right in terms of fitness Simicas needs to come off so Tanganga can replace him and also Guedes can be replaced on the left hand side by Charlie Webster and Kalajic needs replacing up front ideally um, and the only question is whether we replace him with Huang or with Yakubu and I 
think I'm going to go Yakubu. So let's get out there for the uh, second half. Three subs down, two remaining. So uh, as it stands, we're fourth in the table. Three points adrift of Watford in... In fact, Watford have dropped out of the, uh, the top two. We remain fourth as uh, Sunderland come forward again but that's over hit and Saar will collect that nice and easily highlight is continuing he bowls it to Darling Darling into Tanganga back to Darling finds Wharton who's let it run and it's uh, picked up by Barr Hauger back to Cherkin Hauger finds Ballard who launches it forward we win the header but lose possession uh, Veles to Thomas and Sunderland can attack down their left hand side Hauger infield to Thomas Veles and the shot is wide somehow we've got away with one there and right Teze needs to come off and we'll bring on Adarabioyo. And that will necessitate a little bit of a switch around. So Tanganga can go to a right back. Um, in fact, no, Tanganga can go to left back. Santos can go to right back. Adarabioyo can go into central defence and replace Harry Darling and Harry Darling then can come off for Brendan Aronson so we'll confirm those changes as Santos crosses it in it pinballs around Tanganga to Webster into Aziz and uh, that was a big chance not taken And we've used all five subs. T um, Fabio Silva looks like uh, he would rather not be out there now. He looks absolutely shattered. But he's going to have to stay out there for another 10 minutes. It is Aronson's corner. And the header from Adarabioyo is over the top. So into the final uh, 10. And uh, let's get work, into box, work ball into box on and uh, right um, ok Adarabioyo into Wharton back to Adarabioyo plays it to Mosquera into Wharton to Santos on the right hand side down the line for Aronson Santos to Mosquera Santos again Cuts in field this time but gives the ball away. Veles finds Sardella onto Bennett, who needs to be cut off here. He hasn't been, and they've got the cross in. It's cleared, and Wharton tries to put it out of play but only finds Sardella, who gets into the area, pulls it back, and the shot is wide somehow we've got away with another one and we've got one more minute of stoppage time to survive and there it is Wolves 2 Sunderland 1 I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode okay here it is then confirmation that uh, with 29 games gone we are fourth in the table with 54 points only one point behind Crystal Palace in second so uh, still everything to uh, play for and uh, with that in mind let's have a look at when we're going to come back and I'm going to bring you back after only a couple of matches I'm going to play Stoke and Ipswich uh, off camera and I'm going to bring you back to the uh, away games at Crystal Palace and Middlesbrough so if you've enjoyed that please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos thank you very much indeed for watching and 
Goodbye.